42%. Now that is a combo worth learning. What is going on guys? My name is Mad Dog Games, your fighting game sensei. Today I have a quick bread and butter combo guide with Reptile. Now this is just a small piece from the complete guides I offer. We're only going to be covering round 1. Round 2 and round 3 is when we go over common mistakes, alternative combos, combo strategies, and pros and cons. You know, everything that we did in Mortal Kombat 11. Anyways, if you're looking for other combo guides for your character, the link of that playlist will be in the description as well in the pinned comments. And like the video if this was helpful. With that being said, let us start with the video. Now there is a requirement that you will need to do this combo, and that is that you must equip Serena as a cameo to help you. I know some of you are tired of seeing her everywhere, I will provide you with one more combo without any cameo so you can use it in case you don't have her equipped. Alright, for part 1 the way you want to start this combo is by doing Raking Blow, which is forward 2-1. Alright for part 2, now you want to add Serena's Kios Blades, which is back triggers or bumpers. Now I changed my settings around so yours could be different, but mine is back and trigger. Alright for part 3, now you want to add Raking Blow again, which is forward 2-1. Alright for part 4, now you want to add Serena's Kios Blades again, which is back triggers or bumpers. Alright for part 5, now you want to add Neat Trick, which is forward 2-3. Alright, for part 6, now you want to add Raking Blow into Force Ball, which is forward 2 1 and down forward 3. Alright, for part 7, now you want to add Natural Selection, which is going aerial and then pressing forward 2 3 3. Alright, for part 8, now you want to add Falling Fangs, which is down back 4. If you're having a hard time doing this combo, here's a better view of my visual controller so you can get the timing down. Take your time and pause the video to see when I press those buttons. Use your character's body language to better identify the timing. From there, it just takes trial and error. In no time, you'll get the hang of it. The great thing about this combo is that you're able to use this combo without the cameo and it does pretty good damage. And there you guys go, a simple combo to get you started. Now I know this might not be the most optimal combo but it's kind of up there and is very easy to execute in my opinion. Now I did use Serena, a lot of people don't like Serena right now but she is one of the easiest characters to uh, pretty much do any damage with. Uh, so if you guys want another type of cameo, let me know in the comments down below. 
Um, and yeah, if you guys are looking forward to more combo guides with your character, also give a recommendation down below to hit the bell notification so you guys know when the videos go live. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to upload as quickly as I want to because of real life stuff. But anyways, my name is Mad Dog Games. You're Finding Game Sensei, and I'll see you guys next time. And there you guys go, a simple combo to get you started. Now I know this might not be the most optimal combo routes, but it's a combo that I found that to be pretty much reliable and also does pretty much a lot of damage. I know it uses Serena as a cameo and a lot of people are kind of tired of using her, but you can't go wrong with picking her. She is obviously the best choice for damage. Um, anyways, if you guys are excited for more combo guides, hit the bell notification so you know when they go live. Um, and yeah, my name is Maddow Games and I'll see you guys next time.